the workbench. This is just a quick follow-up on my 18 volt Porter cable uh, biscuit joiner. Uh, after using this quite a bit more since uh, the build video I posted a while back, uh, I have a couple negative things to have to say about this. I've actually had to kind of retire this tool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, it's proven rather unreliable. Uh, what I've had to go with is buying an outright regular biscuit joiner. Uh, I actually bought a Porter cable one that I'm going to hang on to this probably so I can try to see if I can experiment with making another cordless one. But the issue that I encountered was that because of the instability between the connection between uh, the biscuit joining uh, and the grinder here uh, with the Harbor Freight unit that I sacrificed uh, up in front here, the, uh, the screws here just didn't line up to be able to hold it and have a nice tight snug fit so that the uh, gears were either grinding or slipping or catching. Um, and I frequently found myself having, a uh, having to disassemble it, put it back together again to try to uh, reset the gears. Uh, if they started uh, getting separated too far apart, and I just got concerned for my own safety and got concerned that this is just uh, the incompatibility be between the, part, the uh, Harbor Freight part and the Porter Cable Grinder, even though I changed the gears out. Uh, the bigger thing was I just didn't have all four screws like it set in uh, because of the different shapes. So you won't be seeing this in any other projects. Uh, I got the video up there of that, and I'll leave it up there, but I've got this follow-up here that... Um, as of now, this is officially retired um, and will be put into storage. And uh, maybe at some point in the future, I'll try uh, combining the Porter Cable Biscuit Joiner, uh, the corded version, with this. But as of now, this tool is officially dead. Thanks.